Hi, my name is Daniel and today I'm going to show you how to create a simple mobile app using Mobidonia. Okay, so we're going to log in with Facebook. This is login and register at the same time. And as soon as we logged in, there is the interface when you create your first mobile application. For this demo, I will show you how to create a we will create a mobile app for the organization of employers in Macedonia. So we will enter M or M. This is the name of our application. In this uh, section, we, you can select the navigation of your the layout of the application. So it can be metro, list, and slider navigation. Uh, later on, you can modify each of them and change the layout as you want. For this demo, we will use uh, uh, list navigation. Uh, what kind of application we are going to make? We will just select general. It's okay. For the pricing, will st stay the same. Here are links where you can download the simulator, simulate, simulator applications of Mobidonia from Google Play and App Store, where where you can preview your application while you work on them. I I already have on my mobile phone, so I will just create the application. Okay, so this is the dashboard of your application. Let's go to the section menu. Uh, and here we can see all the section of the application. We have gallery, news, videos, contact again, news, top users, phone wall and account. We will not need two new sections. We will delete the, the second one. No, so we don't need videos. Delete. Okay. We need this new section on top and we'll need another uh, web view okay we will place on third position here okay uh, we will change the name of the web view in about us okay so it's done we can start managing the section content and as you can see here we have some few new sources uh, and we can for this demo I will select RSS feed I will enter the the link okay and it's done that's all right everything that you have to do in the gallery we can select uh, we can use sources from Facebook uh, Flickr uh, Google Plus or Instagram in this case, we will use the Facebook page ID, Facebook gallery, and organization. Sorry. This is our Facebook page. Okay. And it's saved. We will go now manage the contact section. In the contact section, as you can see, we have already predefined Facebook, phone, email, web, and location. You can modify each of them. We will, I will, for this demo, we'll modify just the email in the website, and I will enter here info at. Okay. I will enter also here and save this element and we'll do the same for the website or I'm okay we can change the color if we like or change the link type but for now it's okay so we'll just save the element and we will save this section elements we can upload our logo this is the logo upload. okay and we can change the background color there is a trick we can to make it transparent okay and now let's preview other sections in about us section uh, this is the web view we can display a link content or uh, the content that we will enter here. In this case, we will use the content 
that we will enter manually. Okay. Okay, let's remove this. Okay, we'll save the content of the web view and also say that need the content to be displayed. Okay. And the sections are done. The top users found well an account. Our sections don't don't have any other uh, fields that can be managed. They are automatic. Now let's go to appearances. And there are easy mode and advanced mode. In the easy mode, you have to enter only two images. And all when if, and when you click on generate images, all the images in advanced mode will be auto automatically generated for you. So we will use the easy mode. We'll upload the logo, okay, upload image, and after it's done, we will upload the high definition image. This may take a while because the image is really big. And as soon as it's uploaded, we can generate the images. It's taking a bit long. Okay, the image is uploaded. Now we can generate the images. Okay. We have to wait wait a while 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 all the other images in advanced mode are generated. Uh, the splash screen will be a merged image of the logo and the background image and the splash will be only cut off crop image of this one and if you don't like some image you can easily re replace with your own okay should be fast okay the images have been generated and uploaded so in advanced mode now you can see uh, the images like background image uh, this is for iPhone 4 and this is these are the splash screens so if you don't like this image you can select other image and upload it it may take a while okay uh, now let's go to the color section and you can we can change the colors of the application here I can select predefined template or I can enter all the colors manually and I can also change these colors on my own so I will make like this and I will save the colors uh, the list colors are uh, colors that appear in the list of the application in this case also the menu so I will enter this one and we'll make something like zebra style so should look okay and save list colors you can also add your own colors or add more colors to the list so let's see if everything is okay uh, colors yes they look okay in the navigation as we already selected we have selected the, the list navigation and you can modify and you can change to other layout uh, we can change the button style the user image uh, the user images uh, style and other settings that we can make I will also use semi transparent for the menu for the navigation and I think it's okay yes uh, now in the App Store menu the first step is to upload the icon okay I will do that I will choose and upload the image as soon as the image is uploaded we can use also see the image here uh, 
uh, next step in this demo will be to test the application on your on our phone so you can see the links here you can down, you can test on your android or on iphone or a ipad so click on these links and you will download the simulator simulator application okay we we are in the phone now we will launch uh, mobidonia simulator application and as you can see i already logged in with facebook and this is our application okay we click on it i will get the application and data okay this is an alert that the application has not yet enabled cms uh, that's not a problem okay as you can see now the background the logo and the sections of the application uh, so the sections are news gallery contact about us top users found wall and account as we did it in the website the logo and the background are the one that we uploaded okay let's go in the new sections this is the RSS feed that we uh, put in the uh, the news okay so you can click on each news feed and you will get the content of the RSS article there users can comment on each item for example we can comment on this one if we like but in this demo user can log in with Facebook and create an account in your app but in this demo we will not do that okay now let's go to the gallery as you remembered we enter it to be a Facebook gallery and these are the the album albums that and photos that this uh, Facebook page had okay so we will go in some album only one image okay you will see here more and users can also comment on each image can log in with Facebook Okay, I'm logged in and I will say nice pick. I will post the comment. Okay, the well, the comment is posted. And you as an administrator of the application can later delay that comment if you don't like. Okay, so I'm going back and this photo has a comment, okay. Now let's go to the contact section. As you remembered, we uploaded the logo and we entered email and website so these are the changed values you can change the color everything in this section and in about us it it was an uh, it was a web view where we entered content so this is the content users can also comment on this and these are the top users of the application so these are some demo users as you as you remembered we entered user uh, I, uh, user image uh, to style to be circled. So as you can see, the image is circled, and the the style of the buttons of all the buttons is flat style. So as you can see, they are like that. Okay, in the fun wall, user can comment about the application. So because I'm already logged in, I'll comment this okay and this is my account i already logged in you can find friends and if you want you can log out okay so you have a simple mobile application done in less than 10 minutes it looks very beautiful and it already does some uh work like example news gallery commenting sharing you can also share the the link opening safari email something like that and this gorgeous app is as you you saw it's all it's done already it's done in 10 minutes thank you for watching our first video uh, make sure you uh, watch the videos uh, that explain each section in detail so you uh, become an expert in mobidonia thanks